After years of high unemployment and constrained public finances, Portuguese economy is now on the path to recovery. Economic growth has been accompanied by continuous falling unemployment and upgrading the skills of the labor force is an essential part of the process. Various organizations are tasked with bringing the education system in line with the labor market. Our main mission is to bridging these two walls that uh, tend to be apart and we think it's very important that they communicate in order to have a very good link between what we provide in our education system and what is the needs of our labor market and our society in general. And the education and training system needs to provide companies with the right skills and that is of great importance for them to be uh, competitive and to, the, to help the economical development of companies but also of regions. In order to address this strategic issue, the Portuguese government set up the Qualification Needs Anticipation System, SANC, under the coordination of the National Agency for Professional Education and Training, ANCAP. SANC was created to provide a comprehensive and up-to-date analysis of skill supply and demand and is now at the core of the skills anticipation approach in Portugal. SANC is a decision support system. The main idea is to have a system that receives information, input information, both quantitative and qualitative information, and then it will give output information to the actors of our national system for qualifications. Based on these uh, recent employment trends and also including information about what are the prospects for future employment, we then reach a classification of qualifications at the end that uh, highlights what are the skills and the qualifications most in demand for all the country and for each uh, region in the country. Each year uh, we use the information of SANC, but we also combine this information with uh, the dynamics of training courses that uh, open in each school. It's the combination of these two factors that are used to define for each region and per each qualification the number of classes that should open. The regional dimension of SANC is one of its strengths allowing local stakeholders to adapt their VAT provision to local needs. Regions have productive identities, uh, specialization, and uh, uh, we need also to provide them with the qualifications and the skills they need to become more competitive in the uh, sectors and uh, the industries where they are uh, specialized. We use this detailed data to understand what are the main trends, but what are also the differences between the qualifications and the regions. So this gives the idea and the basis for negotiation to the local stakeholders to provide them the way of managing by their own the qualification system they need to have at, uh, at the regional level. We have these results published on a specific uh, web page presented for each one of the five regions, national regions. And then, of course, we have uh, sessions where we make a presentation about uh, the SANC results. First of all, to the municipalities and to SIMS, the inter-municipalities, communities, and also to uh, the schools. The result of this system is effective VAT policy implementation on the ground. The involvement of intermunicipal communities in the SANC is fundamental to reach specific needs in local areas. Um exemplo de, de utilização do SANC uh, na CIM é, por exemplo, a verificação da existência de determinados cursos que têm uma baixa valorização no mercado de trabalho em que diminuir essa oferta uh, pelos, uh, pelos próprios atores. Portugal's SANC system is a clear example of how skills matching and anticipation mechanisms can boost employment and support economic growth. It can also influence the choices of young people based on labor market needs. 
It is very important for us to keep uh, these qualifications truly updated and very attractive for the students and the families and also very relevant for the needs of the employers. Another positive outcome of SANC is the way in which it involves a wide range of actors at national and local levels. We now have a, a really enrollment of strategic partners in the system. And I'm talking about social partners at the central level, but uh, most important, at the regional level, we have the communities involved. Because they have a lot of information, they are the main responsible for the development of the territory, and they now participate with providing information and taking decisions. This active enrollment and participation of the stakeholders is our main advantage of the system.